It's going to be an awesome March 20th. This March 20th gets double thumbs up all the way, baby. Woo! It's March 20th. That episode is called The Postcard. And it's from a show called Regular Show. And if you have heard about Regular Show before, well, that's where this clip comes from. Because today is Wednesday, March 20th. And this clip is in reference to, well, I'll read you the article that explains it all. The episode starts out as a flashback four years ago when High Five Ghost meets a girl mean, named Cecilia at a cafe. After a brief conversation, they both realize they have a lot in common. Both begin to like each other a lot m more after a day out together where the two enjoy doing their favorite things together. As the day ends, High Five Ghost remarks how much she enjoyed the day and suggests doing it again, but Cecilia regretfully informs him that she is leaving for like, Prague to continue her studies. Unfortunately, the only way for them to remain in contact with each other is through a postcard because neither has a phone. They both agree if both are still single in four years, then they'll start again where they left off. The scene now cuts to present day where Benson complains to Mordecai and Rigby about them ordering issues of Fort Weekly magazine after telling them to not to have it sent to the park. Whilst he gives High Five Ghost a postcard that Cecilia sent him, after which Benson orders everyone to get back to work. HFG remembers that Cecilia sent him the postcard as a promise for them to meet up again after she finished her studies. Mordecai asks him who Cecilia is, to which he replies that she is the coolest girl he's ever met. Muscle Man and Mordecai congratulate him, while as Rippy asks him when HFG is beating Cecilia. HFG tries to read the postcard but can't due to it being too busted up. Inside the house, Muscle Man, Mordecai, Rippy, and HFG try to decode what the postcard says, but eventually they give up. Rippy asks, How about? the large number of change of address stamps and HFG explains that he's moved around a lot and the postcard must have been stuck in the postal system for some time. Mordecai takes the postcard and plants it out on the table where he finds a message on the front which asks HFG to meet on March 20th between 6 and 7 p.m. After noticing he hadn't gotten much time to find out where he needs to meet Cecilia, he needs to go to the police. At the police station, Low Five Ghost says that the, if the forensic team can't decipher the letter, nobody can, but LFG says that HFG has to chop boss them back if they want their help. After the park workers, West and Wesley chop bossed each other. HFG makes one about them being disc, uh, disc jockeys who haven't seen any real action since they left the academy. Offended by this, the pair hold HFG to the ground only for them to reveal that they were chop busting him again. After deciphering the message, HFG asks them where Cecilia wants to meet him, but they say that's the one thing they can't find out. HFG reads that she wants to meet him at a brick oven pizza, but doesn't know which one. The message also says that if HFG doesn't show up, she'll assume that he's found someone else. One of the team says that they can run a few more tests, but HFG says that he, he doesn't have time, pointing out that it's almost 6 o'clock. Low Five Ghost says that there's only a few brick oven pizzas in the area, and while they're looking, they are looking, Wes and 
Wesley will carry out more tests. While looking for the place, Wes and Wesley tell the gang that the pizza, the place is called Brick and Oven Pizza Annie. After another test, Wes and Wesley find out the place is called Mama's Famous Brick Oven Pizza Annie. Another test reveals that the restaurant is on 7th Street and the gang promptly go there. But they find out that the place is being communicated. After decoding the whole line, Weston and Leslie tell them that Cecilia is waiting at Mama's famous brick oven pizza on Sem Grain, which is at the shopping center. Mordecai notes that they only got 10 minutes left to get there. After getting stuck in a traffic jam, Low Fives cuts through the mall. However, when F HFG enters the restaurant, he finds that Cecilia isn't there and asks for some time alone. He notes that cafe in which he met Cecilia four years ago and meets Cecilia again. The two are surprised and they both hold hands. So yeah, that's basically the gist of what the episode is about. I kind of loved regular show growing up and I decided today, hmm, why not talk about one of the regular show episodes? And so here it is on that special occasion. But the fact that I thought that High Five Ghosts and Cecilia were never going to meet again after four years would have been an intense disaster waiting to happen. Thankfully, it remains to not be the case as they have met up again at a coffee shop in four years. And without the help from Mordecai, Rigby, and Muscle Man, things wouldn't have worked out at all from the very, very beginning. Now, if I were High Five Ghost, I would have planned an hour early to leave earlier before this, it sets at 7 o'clock. Because once it's 7 o'clock and you're supposed to meet somebody like 20 minutes before that time, and if you're too late, then it's over. And I know High Five Ghost doesn't have a phone, but if he did, he would set up his alarm for March 20th at 6.20 p.m. and then he'll be ready to go to the coffee shop and he wouldn't have to forget that he was supposed to meet up with Cecilia on that day. Thank you.